Hey, what do you got? Hey, sir, I've got an interesting gun here for you to take a look at. Uh, 1891 J.P. Sauer & Son hammer drilling. A drillings? Yes, sir. OK. Where did you get this? This came from Germany. My grandfather brought it back. He was in World War II. So it was a war prize? Yes, sir. OK. That's a nice way of saying he stole it from somebody. I came down to the pawn shop today to try to sell my 1891 drilling. I'd like to sell it because the things that I'm interested in collecting are more modern. I would like to start at about $1,000, but I have a set price on my mind of $500, and, or I'll walk. So it's got two shotgun barrels and a rifle barrel? Yes, sir. What caliber is it, son? It's a 16-gauge shotgun barrels, and then the rifle barrel is a 9.3 millimeter by 72. That's an elephant gun. Yes, sir. I don't know if it'd be an elephant gun. It's an elephant gun. <laughs> I don't know. I wouldn't shoot an elephant with it. I want something bigger than that. Um, it's really cool. I mean, it's a rifle and a shotgun all together. They're early hybrids, huh? Yeah. It's a multi-purpose gun, you know? Um, have you ever fired it? No, sir, I've not. OK. All right, it's a good thing, because this is a Damascus barrel right yes, here. Yes, sir. And um, if you put in a modern shotgun shell in there, it would blow up. <laughs> Combination guns like this are really cool. They were originally made to hunt multiple types of wild game and were really popular around Germany and Austria before World War II. But most combination guns have two barrels. Three barrels is pretty rare. This thing was really pricey when it was made, but today it's not really practical. Basically, most people, if they're going to go out bird hunting, they go out bird hunting. They don't, oh, there's a bird, there's a deer. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, how much were you looking to get out of it? I would like to get $1,000. Um, the big thing that concerns me about this is the terrible condition. We have some separation right here. There's cracks in the stock. Someone used this a lot. Yes, sir. It's, um, an 1891? Yes, sir. Are you positive on that? No, sir, not at all. OK. I have some concerns about it, and, um, I definitely want to get it dated. I can't sell a gun made 1899 or newer because I don't have a federal firearms license. It's just something I don't want to deal with. It's too much BS. Okay. That's why I only deal in antique guns. Even though this thing is not military issue, the fact that it's associated with World War II will definitely appeal to gun collectors. And this weird configuration makes it even better. But I need to make sure it's legal for me to buy. Let me get my buddy down here to take a look at it, OK? That sounds good. All right, I'll be right back. All right. I feel that my knowledge on this gun is somewhat limited. I've done all the research that I could do, but uh, to get another person's opinion, especially an expert, uh, I welcome that. Rick, how's it going? Hey, Bob, what's up? What do you got for me today? I've um, got an old drillings. The guys at the pawn shop call me down when they have any concerns about vintage guns. When they have any questions, they ask me about them. So, Rick, uh, what concerns do you have about this? Uh, the problem is it's just in terrible shape. OK, and my other big concern is I want to make sure it's 1898 or back. Well, it is German-made right away. It's, it's, it's worth something. There's no doubt about that. This is a well-loved, well-used gun for a long time. Made in Sewell. Yes, Sewell sir. is like the gun capital of Germany. By Sauer, one of the premier makers. It's still in business today. They are indeed. Uh, I see your concerns. The Damascus barrels, they, we have some denting here. The fit here on the side plate doesn't match the fit on this side, which is not good. It's you know, indicative of a rupture. We have a few parts that, uh, like this particular hammer, looks like it's been replaced. The wrist has two cracks that I see, so it certainly isn't safe to shoot. The drawings are very popular with the collecting community. And when they're in original condition and unmessed with, they, they're really something beautiful to see. Well, Rick, as far as the age goes, based on the design of it, of course, the hammers, the side release, this is probably an 1890, 1891 vintage gun. OK. I'm really excited that this gun is legal for me to buy. If it's worth some decent money, I'm all over it. So what do you think it's worth? This particular gun, if it was in superior condition, it would be $1,500 to $3,500. However, at this condition, with this damage and missing parts, we're looking at maybe three or 400 bucks. OK. Well, all right, well, thanks a lot, man. I appreciate it. Anytime. This particular weapon not only shows its age, but it shows considerable abuse. It's really not collector grade, and it's kind of a wall hanger. All right, so how much you want for it? 500. That's not going to happen. What is going to happen? The problem is 
It's a wall hanger. It, it, it's a wall hanger. Well, it has the rarity of being a drilling. Yeah, but condition is everything. And um, this is pretty rough. I'll give you like 250 bucks. I can't do that, sir. It's worth more, more to me. OK. Keep it in the family. Yes, sir. Give it to your kids when they grow up. OK. Just make sure they never shoot it. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Understood. Have a nice day, man. We weren't able to make a deal today, but that's the way it goes, and uh, I'm fine with that.